In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, let's sing the first one together. Reason to pray is I used to be dead in all my sins, but Jesus gave me life. Amen. I used to be dead. And I used to be dead in all my sins. Jesus gave me life within. Thinking of his wonderful grace. How can I not want to give? I have the right to be his child, and he sent me to shine the light. King of his mission for me, how can I not want to get seen? I have a reason to praise, I have a reason to sing. God's kingdom comes when we praise him, it will come in a praise as we breathe. Praise you for saving me and for the blessings you give to me. Let all with breath lift up your hearts. Let us be for praise the name of the Lord. I will rejoice for he gave me love. In my own, my eyes, let all with breath sing and rejoice. Let God's children get your thanks to the Lord. I used to be, I used to be that in all my sin, but Jesus gave me life within. Thinking of his wonderful grace, how can I not want to give him praise? I used to be his child, and he sent me to shine the light. Of his mission for me. How can I not want to shout and sing? I have a reason to praise. I have a reason to sing. God's kingdom comes when we praise him. It will come in the praises we breathe. Lord, I will praise you for saving me. And for the blessings you give to me, let all with breath lift up your hearts. Let God's people praise the name of the Lord. I will rejoice for he gave me life to see my mission open my eyes. Let all with breath sing and rejoice. Let God's children give their thanks to the Lord. One more time. I used to be, I used to be dead in all my sins, but Jesus gave me life within. Thinking of his wonderful grace, how can I not want to give him praise? I have the right to be his child, and he sent me to shine the light. Thinking of his mission for me, how can I not want to shout and sing? I have a reason to praise. I have a reason to sing. God's kingdom come when we praise Him. It will come in the praises we breathe. Lord, I will praise Him for saving me and for the blessings You give to me. Let all with breath lift up your heart. Let God's people praise the name of the Lord. Are you with God for He gave me life to see my mission open my eyes? Let all with breath sing and rejoice. Let God's children give you thanks to the Lord. Lord, I will, Lord, I will praise You for saving me. And for the blessings you gave to me, let all with breath lift up your hearts. Let God's people praise the name of the Lord. I will rejoice for he gave me life to see my mission open my eyes. Let all with breath sing and rejoice. Let God's children get through thanks to the Lord. Let all with breath Sing and rejoice, let God's children get through thanks to the Lord. Amen.
let's pray. God, thank you for calling all these, uh, all these precious uh, remnants uh, for the time of worship, Lord. We, uh, you know, uh, we know that you have given the covenant of uh, these remnants to be able to be the ones to save the 237 nations, Lord. Uh, to be the ones uh, that, can truly be, uh, to be, uh, that can truly be able to reach the summit, Lord. Uh, God, may we be able to find uh, that answer as we have a time concentrating on you during this time of worship, Lord. May we be able to really experience and be able to see how, God, you take care of all things for those who prioritize worship and prayer uh, and praise all the things that you love most that uh, for those that prioritize those uh, prioritize those things Lord uh, God may uh, these run this be able to find the greatest mystery um, as they enjoy Emmanuel during this time of worship may we be able to know that God you are always with us and that God you're always working on behalf of these remnants and God that you're always leading these remnants uh, to the path um, of, of world evangelization Lord we thank you so much and we pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. Summit time.
everything's my confidence every work a part of my vision in the place where you put me that is my dream every person that's her a practice and the future will show God's masterpiece all of this is every remnant CVDIP. There is someone in me who gives me joy and truth. He's the one who is always with me. There is someone in me who gives me answers to me. He's a man who has. Sings to me. He's the one who makes what this and my child. From now I really want to know this gospel joy. Everything's like coming in. part of my vision in the place where you put me that is my dream every person that's her a practice and the future will show God's masterpiece all of this is every remnant CBDIP Twenty-four and twenty-five, eternity in Christ. Everything's my calling answer. Every work a part of my vision in the place where you put me. That is my dream. Every person that's a practice. And the future will show God's masterpiece. All of this is every remnant, CBDIP. One more? Let's do, let's do this one one more time, okay? Reason to praise, okay? I want you guys to get a little bit more famili uh, familiar uh, with the lyrics. So let's praise this one one more time. So you guys, everyone, for those that are online and for those that are here, that you guys can praise along, okay? It's a bit tricky because there's a lot of English, okay? There's a lot of words, but I think you guys can do it, okay? All right? You guys can sit there, but let's praise along, okay? Okay? No body worship, okay? I want you guys to actually praise along, okay? Understood? For those online as well, okay? All right. used to be dead in all my sin, but Jesus gave me life within. Thinking of his wonderful praise, how can I not want to give him praise? I have the right to be his child, and he sent me to shine the light. Thinking of his mission for me, how can I not want to shout and sing? I have a reason to praise, I have a reason to sing, God's kingdom come and we praise Him, it will come and the praises we breathe, Lord I'm a praise you for saving me, I 
for the blessings you give to me. Let all with breath lift up your hearts. Let God speak with praise the name of the Lord. I will rejoice for he gave me life. To see my mission open my eyes. Let all with breath sing and rejoice. Let God's children give true thanks to the Lord. I used to, I used to be dead in all my sin. But Jesus gave me life with me. King of his wonderful dream. How can I not want to give him praise? I have the right to be his child. And he sent me to shine the light. The king of his mission for me. How can I not want to shout and sing? I have a reason to praise. I have a reason to sing. God's kingdom comes when we praise Him. It will come in the praises we bring. Lord, I will praise You for saving me and for the blessings You give to me. Let all with breath lift up your hearts. Let God's people praise the name of the Lord. I will rejoice for he gave me life to see my mission open my eyes. Let all with planting and rejoice. Let God's children give true thanks to the Lord. Lord, I will praise you for saving me and for the blessings you gave to me. Let all with breath lift up your hearts. Let God's people praise the name of the Lord. I will rejoice for he gave me life to see my mission open my eyes. Let all with blessing and rejoice. Let God's children give through thanks to the Lord. Let all with blessing and rejoice. Let God's children give through thanks to the God, we thank you so much. May we uh, truly be able to have a time of summit, uh, a time that can concentrate on you, Lord. Uh, may we be able to succeed um, in, our, uh, in our time of worship here uh, because everything is hidden um, inside of this time of worship because uh, this, this worship is truly Christ-centered, Lord. Uh, God, may we be able to hold on to only Christ. May we be able to experience how in all the things that your kingdom and your Holy Spirit works upon these remnants lives, Lord. May they be able to know their, themselves, personally be able to know themselves that they are the remnant summits, that they are the ones to do the 237 nations, the evangelism, the healing of this world, um, and for the summit movement, Lord. God, may you break down all the force of darkness at this time. May these remnants be able to know who you are, know the covenant in advance, and hold on to it um, as, um, as their life answer, Lord. We thank you so much, and we pray all these things. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Person who is blessed, three to one. May I delight only in the law of the Lord today as well. Be the one who meditates on your law day and night. Law of the Lord, three to one. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Prayer for Evangelist Missions, 3 to 1. May I be consumed with the word today as well and testify that Jesus is the Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. Step straight, back off the back of the chairs. Remember, exhale, break down force of darkness. Inhale, filling of the Holy Spirit. Right? Exhale. Inhale. Hold. 
Even now the triune God is at work, always and forever. Even now God is working by his spirit and the word, Father. Even now the Christ is getting rid of the three curses, disasters, help, Satan as a prophet, priest, king, and accomplishes salvation, son. And even now unseen to your eyes, the Holy Spirit is working upon us. Spirit, deeply enjoy this. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. What is arising right now? Our background is heaven. The time you spend in prayer is the time you bring God's kingdom here on earth. To bring God's kingdom means while we're praying, un invisible to our eyes, God mobilizes those angels for his errands. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. You have an amazing authority. You begin to break down the background of hell, bind Satan, break down the force of darkness, exhale. Inhale. Hold. Then five great strengths will be made for you. Spiritual, intellectual, physical, financial, and manpower. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. There is something more important than all of these. Not only your heart, but your brain will be strengthened. Only then can you become summit, do well in your studies. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Heaven, this is our background. By the mystery of the triune God, enjoy God's kingdom here on earth, and we'll go to heaven. Just wait for God's kingdom, then it will come. But the majority of people don't wait. Everywhere you go, God's kingdom will come. As Joseph waited, God's kingdom came. He went as a slave into prison, still able to wait. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Hell. We don't die and go to hell, but people are living a hellish life on earth, having the background of hell. They go to hell when they die. Satan continues to follow them and torments their life. At the end, drags people to hell. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Angels with the background of heaven. Angels are ministering God's work. When we die, they usher us to heaven. Wherever we go, God mobilizes his angels. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Spiritual state. What's more important than answers is my spiritual state. This is where everything begins to be solved. Help me to have a healthy spiritual state that rides the flow of the covenant and is filled with the Holy Spirit always. Help me to listen to the voice of God and not the words of people. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Church, it's the shadow of the throne of heaven and the path to which we get there. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. People that remnants must meet, that become leaders with the gospel, successful people with the gospel, fellow workers with the gospel. Exhale. Do you feel pressure to be like this? I don't feel pressured. God will bring us to here. We don't do it. Don't feel pressured. Run this prayer for the church. Dear God, bless the pastors to so be only the gospel, evangelism, and prayer. 
as a church officer, to save the remnants, church, field, regions, occupations. Us young adults, to be prepared as a church officer, to be the hands and feet of the pastors and the platform for the remnants. Bless us to have the imprints, roots, nature of the word, prayer, evangelism, missions, academics. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hunpuk journey. We pray for our pastor slash evangelist to be what? Word and prayer. That's right. Word, prayer, evangelism. Elders? Yeah. The rest of their life. Now, if you're really old, then you have not that much years to stake your life, right? But if we're young, we have lots of years to stake our life. Deaconesses? Sacrifice themselves as the mommies of the church? Deacons? Help, it run, help everything run smoothly? How do we help everything run smoothly? Like if it's an actual gear, maybe we put oil to make it smooth. So we help everything run smoothly through prayer, right? Prayer is the oil. Yeah, we don't need pat, pat, pat. People like to stand in front of people. I don't like that. Save the field. There's so many people to be saved, right? Yeah. That's why we have to go to school. That's why we have to work. That's why we have to do what we have to do, because there's so many people to be saved, right? If there's no one to be saved, better off just going to heaven. Bye-bye. Young adults, you come and save the elites, successful people in this world. But are they really successful? No. Remnants, that's right, inference roots, nature of C, V, D, I, P. All right, what does C stand for? Covenant, God's promise, which is all about God's sovereignty. He's in control. See it ahead of time. Where are the we glasses? V, vision, which is all about God's plan. Mine, ahead of time. D stands for dream. Does this mean we have to actually fall asleep and dream about world evangelization like, like you did? No, we could also dream while we're awake, right? Yeah, daydream. Not daydream. Well, eh, as long as you're drawing a picture about world evangelization. <laughs> Enjoy it ahead of time. Image. I stands for image. Draw the picture with God's word and prayer on our journey. We're going to talk a lot about journey today. <laughs> Yay, conquer, win ahead of time. P stands for P, I mean practice, with God's goal, masterpiece. Because it's done, it's finished, fulfilled ahead of time. I don't know what this is. The sloth is so happy, it's done over. Jesus finished everything. Today's message, save the adults. Save the adults. Save your teachers. Save your, save your neighbors. Save your parents. Save your professors, your bosses, people in the world. Save the celebrities. Save the adults. All right. Preschoolers, you don't have to write it. Or kindergarten? Adults. Wait, all of them are 
That's not smiling. They're all in pain. They need to be saved. It's a, it's a fake smile. Bible verse, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Congratulations. Ooh, bragging. Genesis chapter 3. Hatred, Genesis chapter 6. All right, let's read this together. 3, 2, 1. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Amen. To start, that's why us remnants, we're here, worship while we're young. So if you, if you teach a child the way, the correct ways, when this child gets older, when you guys get older, girls, guys and girls, then would you know the correct way to go? Yeah. Which is all about God's word, right? Save the adult generation. Which is actually save ourselves because eventually we're going to become adults. Yeah. We need to save ourselves now, prepare now, so that when we become adults, we could save other adults. Can I move on? Yeah. How about now? Yeah. All right, we're moving on. What are adults imprinted with deep inside their hearts? Adults. Not just adults, everybody, right? Who are adults? Adults. Like when we're, like when you look at, like someone older than you, you think they're like, wow, they're adults. Like when I was in third grade, I looked at like an eighth grader, wow, adult. And then when I become eighth grader, I look at a high schooler, wow, adult. And then when I was in high school, you look at a college student, and then when you're in college, you look at a young adult, wow. And when you're a young adult, you look at like a deacon, wow, adult. And then you're a deacon, you look at an elder, oh, adult. And then you're an elder, and you look at, a, at a, like a senior, senior, senior citizen, wow, adult. And then you're a senior citizen, you look at an even more wrinkly person past 100 years old. Wow, adult. And on and on and on. All right. So everybody, whatever is in our thoughts, that, so whatever we learn in our head, it could be from our teachers, our parents, pastors, whatever we learn, in our head, our thoughts, in our brain. If we learn ever since we're little, hey, you're the master of your life. Don't let people tell you what to do. Or, on the other hand, if you learn ever since you're little, uh, ever since we're kids, remnants, hey, God's in charge of your life. And then you get older, what happens? If you keep thinking about something, Keep thinking about it, keep thinking about it. Eventually, it moves down to our, to our heart. No, Tata. Whatever we keep thinking about goes down into our heart, right? Do you know how people say, hey, follow after your heart? Follow after your heart. What we thought about over and over and over again seeps into our heart, 
And then people follow what's in their heart, right? Your plans. Do what you want to do. Or do what God wants you to do. Or do what your parents want you to do. Now, what's in our heart eventually seeps deep, 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 deep down into our... Mm. Into our soul, right? Our, our soul, our spirit. Because we're spiritual beings, right? Now, if you keep thinking about hatred, 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 violence, ah, revenge. revenge, then what happens? It's going to seep down into your heart. And what's going to be in your heart? Hatred, 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 revenge, revenge. And then what, what does that seep down into? Your soul. Now it's affecting your spiritual state. But then on the other hand, if you keep thinking about God's word, one, three, eight, and that seeps down into your heart. God's words in your heart. And then eventually, seeps down into our spirit. So what's the way to have a healthy spirit? Uh, Through worship, God's word, right? Keep thinking about God's word. So it seeps down into our heart. So it seeps down even into our soul, our spirit. Yeah. And then we'll talk about what people... Adults are imprinted deep, deep, deep with, down with. Now, what was our lesson objective? Save the adult generations, right? Well, let's look at what generation we belong to. Hmm. Generation Z. If we're between the age of 5 and 25 right now, your generation Z. Generation Z. Now, next generation, millennials between 26 and 40. If this generation looks at this generation, ooh, not, not good. Uh, you guys are lazy. But then when this generation, what does it say? If Generation X looks at this generation, and, mm, not, you guys are lazy. You guys don't work hard. But then when that generation, what does it say? The baby boomers looks at this generation. Mm, yeah, yeah. You guys are all lazy, not hardworking. You guys are weak. But then when that last generation, silent generation, how old are they? Over 76 years old? Looks at that generation, that generation, that generation, that generation. <laughs> They're lazy, weak. Back in my day. Right? So the generations before us, they keep looking down on us. But is this true? Eh, kind of. Sure, because the older you are, the wiser you are. So you have to respect people older than you because they went through more than you. But everybody, all adults, are imprinted with what? Everybody's born with something, with original sin. And there's no exception. Just because you're born earlier or later, everybody's born with original sin, right? So keep that in mind. As we become adults, to save adults. Next point. So that's why it's so important. We need an imprint in our brain, in our heart, in our soul, the covenant first. Because what we learn when we're little, it affects us when we get older. All right, let's, let's use language as an example. If this is a baby, Gugu Gaga, if you keep speaking French, Francois, to this little baby, is it going to be easier to understand French when this little baby grows older and older and older? Yeah. yeah. But what if you learn French, like when you're here, this age, Francois, but was it, is it going to be easier? No, because she's a little older. 
How about the grandma? The grandma speaks a different language her entire life, but then wants to learn French when she's old. Is she going to be better than this girl or this girl? No. So what we learn when we're younger is it's more, it's more important, more, more faster, right? Hmm. Aha. Now, there's this group of evil men who they see young boys and then, here, come here. You want some candy? Here. Oh, you want to check out my gun? Here, look at this gun. And the little boy's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And these, like, they're orphans. Like, their parents die. And then these, these bad men, they teach these young boys, hey, that certain group of people are bad. When we, get, when we grow older, we have to get rid of them. So ever since these orphans are little, they're like brainwashed into thinking, ooh, those group of people are bad. And then they get older and older and older. What are they going to think? Yeah, and they're actually going to do bad things to get rid of them, right? A lot of terrorist groups are like that, right? Because what's imprinted in our head, in our brain, it affects us later on. Which is why we do summit time, our checklists, read God's word, prayer journal, listen to praise, Bible writing, Bible reading. Why? So that God's word can be imprinted in our brain instead of other things, right? Anything besides God's word is Genesis chapter 3, 6, 11. We don't want that, right? What happens if there's a, if there's a dad and the dad keeps teaching the son things that are not, that doesn't have to do with God's word? That's garbage, right? Everything's garbage. Hey, don't let anybody pick on you. Hey, stand up for yourself. Hey, don't, don't live like me when you get older. It's all garbage, right? Hey, you have to work hard for your money. Garbage. But instead of that, we got to grow up knowing, oh, I have to go to God, right? I have to hold on to God's word. That should be imprinted first. Not garbage of the world. So anything that's apart from God's word, garbage. Let's look at some examples. Young remnant Joseph, ever since he was little, in his thoughts, heart, in his spirit, he was imprinted with God's word. Right? But how about his bros? What were the bros imprinted with? Or what did they keep thinking about? 3, 6, 11, right? All about things. Uh, themselves. Selfishness. Yep. They only cared about what they ate, what they wore. Remember they got jealous and they took Joseph's clothes and then they ripped it and they put it in blood to trick their dad <sighs> that's total total genesis chapter 3 6 11 that was imprinted right but then joseph he was imprinted with god's word how about joshua and caleb joshua and caleb they were imprinted with god's word they kept thinking about god's word which seeped down into their heart which was in their soul, their spirit. So they held on to God's word. Hey, God's with me, just like he was with Moses. But then how about all the Israelites? They complain all the time. Aren't you sick of people who complain all the time? They try to make excuses. Sick of it. So when, so when they were circling Jericho, God said, ah, shush, nobody talk. But they kept complaining. Oh, we're better off in Egypt. In Egypt, even if we were slaves, they gave us food. 
Joshua and Caleb, they held on to God's word. Now, little Sammy, ever since he was little, he was imprinted with the covenant. Not those two fellas. You guys remember who they are? Hophni and Phineas, priest, e priest Eli's sons. They were in charge of worship, but they did whatever they wanted. Aren't you sick of that? Oh, offering, the animal offering, they took the best parts for barbecue. My food. Not Sammy. Ever since he was little, he was imprinted with the covenant. Don't be like those two troublemakers. Do you remember what happened to them? <laughs> yeah. How about David? Rem and David. Oh, there's some fat sheep. Now David, ever since he was little, he kept thinking about God's word, which, was, which came into his heart, which, expect, which gave him a healthy spiritual state. But not his brothers. What did his brothers only think about? Uh, yeah. They were... They didn't know about the spiritual things. All right. So on our journey, our covenant journey, if we hold on to 138, keep thinking about it, then in the smallest things that we do, the smallest things, it's, it's the small things that count, we're able to hold on to God's word, make correct decisions, not just in big things, of course in big things, but start with the small things, right? Like... Succeeding in worship, come to worship early, have everything prepared ahead of time, quietly close your, close your eyes, read the Bible instead of talking to your, your neighbors, small things. But people are bad at the small things. Us remnants, we got to be good at the small things. In the small things, do it before God, okay? Not just the big things. And the small things, do it before God. Okay? Okay. Next. Discover only the covenant. Discover, find, explore. Because we are on a journey, our covenant journey, and on our journey, the rest of our lives... We're going to see, oh, lots of problems. There might, we might face some problems in our life journey. We might face some hardships, right? It might be hard. No one said it's going to be easy. Look at Joseph. Oh, you might face some trouble. People might not like you. Oh, you might be deceived and tricked by success and money. Don't be tricked. What else? Ooh, you might be tricked by Satan's trap. Hey, happiness. This is how you become happy. Family, getting married, nice car, uh, lots of food, lots of money. So on your life journey, you're going to face, you're going to see troubles, problems, hardships, oh, tricks. But should we fall for these tricks? No, 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 no. Stay focused. If, you're, if, if you face problems on your covenant journey, instead of looking at the problem, what should we focus on? Only God. That's right. Only God. If you face hardships and trouble and difficulties... What should we look for? Inside of those problems, only God. Yeah, look for only God. How about when there's persecution or hatred? Yeah, look for only God again. How about when God blesses you? What if God gives you money? Yeah, still focus on only God. What if God lets you be happy? You still focus on only God, right? Ups and downs, it doesn't matter. Stay focused. 
by holding on to God's word, right? Don't be like this weirdo who's chasing after this butterfly. Don't chase the butterfly of oh, happiness, Ooh, money, success. Everything else, all this, all this stuff without God, that, 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 that. Those are all butterflies. Don't fall for the butterflies. Don't be tricked. It's all meaningless. Only God, only God. Only God, only God, only God. God's word. Everything else is meaningless. Don't worry, stay focused. Don't be like that weirdo. Be like this horsey. What does this horse have? The blinders, right? During a race, what happens if the horse doesn't have blinders? Uh, there's like Ooh. Ooh, grass. Ooh, hey. It will be distracted. Have these blinders on. In other words, have the glasses of what on? We. That's right. Have the glasses of we on. Yeah, so fo focus on only God. Joseph did. Joseph faced hardships, but he, look he looked at only God. Joseph faced success. He became governor, but he still focused on only God. He didn't become arrogant. How about Joshua? When he became the leader, when Moses passed away, or when God brought Moses to heaven, he becomes leader. But he faced lots of problems too, right? The Jordan River, snakes. But he still focused on only God, yeah. David? Right? He beat Goliath. Yay! Everybody praises him. But, so those were good times, also bad times, because remember dad, King Saul, tried to kill him? He was on the run. Good times, bad times, doesn't matter. He's still focused on only God. Even when he was king, his own son tried to kill him. Oh, yeah, he, got, he fell in love. Oh, yeah, he got, he got trapped by Satan's trap by the beautiful woman? Yeah. Or how about Job? Job had everything, only God. Oh, Job lost everything, still only God. Yeah. And then God gave him double everything, it's okay, still only God. I like Job. Kenny likes Job too. All right, last point. I think this is the last point. Experience the covenant. Experience. No video. Experience the covenant, which means go through it. Now, on your life journey, yeah, there's going to be lots of doors, ups and downs, side to side, lots of problems. Might be doors. What's the key? So when we're stuck, we don't know what to do, and we face a problem, usually there's two ways to go, right? We choose God's way or a different way, right? If it's not God's way, then it's just a different way, right? Which way should we take? God's way, God's way right? So there's going to be lots of problems. There could be problems. It could be good things and bad things, ups and downs on our journey. Say a door is locked. We don't know how to solve this problem. We don't know what to do next. So are we going to choose God's way or any other way? We should choose God's way, right? What is God's way? The covenant. But then all the different keys... Sometimes we get impatient. Oh, I don't want to use God's way. I'm going to choose a different way. I'm going to try my thoughts or what he told me, what she told me, or what I learned from my parents. And then you pick up a different key. But you know what? The door opens. Huh? Okay. So what if you chose a different key but not God's key and the door still opens? What happens if you go... And face the next door. Are you going to try the key that 
you tried before? Yeah, you probably will, right? God's way? Eh. The other key worked, right? We don't want that. The other keys, it will work. You will solve the problem. Or using the different ways of the world. My thinking. Money. Yeah, money could solve lots of problems. Sure. And you will keep going through doors. Whether it be God's way, ways of the world. Okay, you could solve your problems. But... What happened to the Israelites? Now, it said they could have taken, what, seven days, one, one week, two weeks, to go to the land of Canaan. But how long did it take them? Forty years. Why? Because they kept using different keys, right? They kept wasting time. Should we waste time? Stop using different keys. We should use God's key, which is all about the covenant. Right? Hold on to 138. Let God take care of it. Stop going around in circles or running, wasting time like this. Yeah, don't waste time by choosing different keys, which is Genesis chapter 3, 6, 11, the ways of the world, my way, what I learned, my experience. In my experience. No. Just take God's way, which is the covenant. Okay? So on your journey... You might face problems. There might be a locked door. You might face a wall. But what should we do? Just wait. Wait holding on to Jesus being the Christ, God's kingdom, the Holy Spirit. And what's God's going to do? God might show us a different way to go. He might drop the key, give us the key. He might open the door for us. Right? Let's just not waste time by choosing different keys, okay? What is God's key? 138, that's right. And God will make a way, okay? So, ever since we're little remnants, our message was save the adults, right? But when we get older, who are we gonna become? We're going to become adults too, right? So it's actually save ourselves. Save ourselves so that we could save others. Okay? Start now. Choose God's key. Don't choose all the big pile of keys. Is it annoying to have a huge ring of keys like the janitors do? It's kind of annoying, right? Get rid of that. One key. Like the master key. All right, let's pray for Luxembourg and Monaco, which are Roman Catholic. Catholic. Yeah. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Luxembourg and Monaco so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise and shine the light of the gospel here. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Oh, I forgot culture time. What's today? Wait, what day is it today? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday. It's Friday. What's the number, the date? Uh, 13th? Yeah. You know, you know, in America, and I guess other places around the world, they have something called Friday the 13th. What? They think every Friday, if it lands on the 13th, then it's like a superstitious, like cursed, bad luck day. What? Is that true? No. I mean... I guess non-believers, non-believers might believe it because maybe they really are unlucky during Friday the 13th. But who's really playing around with them? Satan. Yeah, Satan, demons, right? Superstitions, right? Superstitions. All right, you guys will have forum with teacher Christina. On Hangouts, remnants who are here, uh, make sure you do your prayer books during our prayer time. No talking. I hear so much talking during prayer time and goofing around up here. Okay? I'm telling you not to do it, but, I, but you still do it. So I shouldn't hear any talking back there. 
and Deacon Jimmy shouldn't be going shh to you guys. You should know what to do, okay? Oh, by the way, homework? Have you been doing your homework? Yeah, I'm able to drink water right now. While you drink water, instead of being filled with wine like Queen Vashti, yeah. you should be filled with Holy Spirit, right? So every time you drink a cup of water, a glass of water, we're praying, filling with the Holy Spirit. All right, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much. May you bless these precious remnants. Help us to be prepared as the adults that you desire who experience the covenant so that we can save other adults. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.